So you're all probably wondering, why am I looking at, looks like, could be some kids food. Well, that's something we're going to cover over the next few minutes. So let's get started. So in a hurricane type situation, when you're going out and doing your shopping and everything else, you want to make sure that you have something that your kids will eat in an emergency situation that is relatively easy to make and somewhat healthy for them. Now, on this table here, there's, uh, you know, you see you got some crackers and peanut butter and all this kind of stuff, you know, and these are things that the kids will eat. Now you have peanut butter and jelly, all right? Most kids like peanut butter and jelly. Yes, there are some kids that are allergic to peanuts, so that's something that you'll have to take in consideration when you are doing your shopping. But if you are doing your shopping, you pick up your peanut butter and jelly, and if you don't have bread and stuff, you can always substitute some crackers. Ritz crackers go really good with peanut butter and jelly. You could also use graham crackers to put the peanut butter and jelly on also. You also want to have like little snacks and stuff for them too. Um, you know, these little, you know, little snack, uh, like chocolate pudding, uh, they do have vanilla and they do have, uh, I think that comes in butterscotch also, uh, depending on, you know, what kind of pudding that your uh, kids do like. Um, you can also get the applesauce in the little containers, just like if you were packing their lunch or something. You want to make sure that you have this kind of stuff that is on hand and it is very easy for them to eat and very easy to clean up. Um, I would suggest also having some like plastic forks and spoons so it's less of a mess you have to clean up and more than you could just throw away if on a chance you didn't have say running water. Now over here you know you see you have like SpaghettiOs you know you have SpaghettiOs, beefaroni, um, all that kind of stuff. All this stuff has to do is be heated up or it can even be eaten at room temperature. Now everybody would like to have them heated up a little bit um, but you could eat it at room temperature if you had to. It's already pre-cooked all you have to do is warm it up and you could warm that up in several different ways. Even if you did not have power, you could do it over a fire, over a portable little gas stove. Um, there are several different ways that you could do that. And you also can see here, I have everybody's favorite, <laughs> Vienna sausages. Now, these, these things get a bad rap, you know, and yeah, they're not the healthiest thing for you. But in a pinch, you're like a little mini hot dog. So if you could take and heat those up for your kids, or even cook them over the fire a little bit like a little hot dog. Um, it gives them something to eat in a emergency type situation. Once again, I'm stressing this is in an emergency situation. Uh, most people do have a peanut butter and jelly in your home. You know, a lot of kids like peanut butter and jelly. I like peanut butter and jelly, you know. Um, but it's just one of those things. <clears throat> so when you're doing your shopping and stuff, the the thing I'm trying to get across to you is don't forget about your kids. Pick up the crackers they like. Uh, pick up the snacks and stuff that they like if you're going to put that into your hurricane supplies. Or if you are buying for a hurricane that is coming, make sure that you have stuff that your kids are going to eat also besides the rest of the family because we all know that how kids can be, they can be real picky and everything else. So you're gonna to wanna to cater to that to try to help out in the situation, especially if you are staying in your home during the storm, kids get scared and everything else. And uh, something I don't have on this table, but what that would be really good is Kraft macaroni and cheese. Uh, that should be a staple in everybody's cupboard. That's just my opinion, because I don't know too many people that just don't like Kraft macaroni and cheese kind of soothes the soul so I've covered some of this stuff on some of my other videos in great detail so if that's something you're looking for just check right up here and I'll leave a little link and until next time I'll catch you on the flip side